What's up everyone, welcome back to Ecto3D Printing. It has been a while, but I wanted to make a video about this really cool update for the Inkmake M5. Inkmake just pushed an update for the M5, which allows the printer to go up to 500 millimeters per second. As of right now, this is only available through the Anchor Make Slicer and through the easy mode, there's just a normal and a fast mode. So I wanted to show some of the differences between the speeds and the results of both. And here I have two benches that I've printed, one in a fast mode and one in normal mode. Here's a side by side of both of these running at real time at their max speeds. And you can see the difference in the speeds here. Now, although it is printing at twice the speed, just some things don't work the same at different speeds. So the timing isn't necessarily cut in half, but it's more like a quarter of improvement in speed. But even that much speed difference and improvement is very welcome when you're doing rapid prototyping and trying to get the final iterations of your model figured out and done. Looking at the two models, there's really very slight differences in quality between the two, and I am shocked that the 500 millimeters per second looks pretty much as good as the 250 millimeters per second. The only major things that I noticed on the 500 millimeters per second version that weren't as good were maybe the walls connecting here on the back of the boat. There's a little bit of gaps in here. The walls aren't quite connected here, but the bridging, the bridging looks about the same. The bow looks about the same. The text on the back of the boat actually looks a little bit better on the 500 millimeters per second. So that's my first test of the new 500 millimeters per second printing speed. And I am quite impressed and the results, I think, speak for themselves. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. And until the next video, I will catch you in the next one.